Hey what's up guys, today I'll show you a horror thriller film, The Cave. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with Soviet and British plunderers traveling to an abandoned abbey in Romania's Carpathian Mountains. They ascend the mountains and trek the slopes to reach what they believe is a gold mine underneath the sanctuary. Upon entering they stumble on a trapdoor and underneath they find intricate carvings on the wall and a mosaic on the ground showing winged demons. Then they blow up the mosaic to open the passageway to the cave. Unfortunately, the explosion causes a landslide to topple over the abbey, blocking their way out. The group attempts to find a way out in the darkness until they hear unknown creatures clicking in the cave's hollow chambers. Years later, the scientist and the biologist collaborate, believing the abandoned abbey contains an undiscovered ecosystem underneath, so they hire a diving team consisting of the Spelunker brothers, Jack and Tyler, the survival expert, the rock climber, the sonar expert, and the first scout. The next day, the diving team arrives at the expedition site by use of a helicopter, and waiting for them is the scientist. The scientist presents Jack their excavation site, while Tyler introduces their modified rebreather to the biologist, to keep the diver submerged for 24 hours. The night before their expedition, they conducted a meeting led by Jack. Jack explains that underneath the cave entrance is a 300-foot cavern, which the scientist named Titan Hall. In the middle of the Titan Hall is a sump leading to an underwater passageway, where they will find a dry cavern to set up an advanced base camp for the scientist and the biologist to collect a sample. Afterward, the scientist explains to Tyler the history of the abbey. According to local legends, the monastery's purpose was to seal the cave from the winged demons. Then the scientist interprets the retrieved mosaic from the abbey, explaining that the Knights Templar entered the cave, but were attacked by the winged demons, and so went missing. At dawn, the diving team with the scientist goes to the Titan Hall. Upon arriving, the diving team admires the Titan Hall because of its beauty. Afterward, Jack prepares the first scout for submersion in the sump. The first scout dives underneath and travels underwater. The diving team watches his progress through a computer screen, Along with his exploration, his connection to the crew gets cut off as expected. He then scans the passageway using a mapping gun. Meanwhile, in the Titan Hall, Jack beckons Tyler to prepare if the first scout is still out of signal in 10 minutes. Suddenly the first scout goes online, reaching a dry cavern, and sends the scan map of an area that's about 2.4 miles long. A mole attacks the first scout out of nowhere, which the team laughs at, but suddenly the team's monitor screen flickers, losing the first scout's signal again. So, Jack, the rock climber, and the survival expert follow the uploaded map and carry their equipment in the underwater passageway. They reel a string to leave a track into the empty cavern. The cameraman behind them snaps a picture of the scene. On their expedition, they come across bones stranded on the seafloor. When they arrive at the base in the dry cavern, pulling their equipment on dry ground, they find the first scout's rebreather on the floor. Then the first scout appears from an opening and shows them a boot, implying that the Soviets and British had reached that far before. Meanwhile, Sonar Expert and Tyler follow behind on the underwater passage, tying flashlights onto the string left by Jack's team. The Sonar Expert separates from Tyler to look for the mole he catches a glimpse of, but an unknown creature attacks him when he gets to a dry cavern, leading him to fall onto the water. He tries to grab his water scooter, but the creature pulls him away. The water scooter hits a stone wall and explodes, causing a cave-in. The explosion creates a strong current, pushing Tyler onto the passage toward the base. The diving team helps him on his feet, and then they look for the sonar expert. But Tyler's unsure of his location. So, Jack and the survival expert return to the water to search for the sonar expert, and they come across stone boulders blocking the exit. While removing the rocks, Jack cuts himself in the process. Just then, they find the sonar expert's counter lung ripped to shreds. Upon returning, Jack explains the reality they're facing. Their only exit is blocked, the workers above them won't miss them for 12 days, since that's their expected timeline underneath the cave. Afterward, the first scout confronts Jack about the sonar expert's state, and Jack reveals that their good friend is dead. Jack then asks the scientist what attacked their friend, and the scientist answers that the mole is the only plausible one, since it's the only thing they've seen so far. It's still unknown whether the mole is the top of the food chain, or just food for something bigger. The survival expert recommends finding a way out, but the scientist opposes it, claiming it's impossible to leave, so they'll have to wait for a rescue team. But Jack says they're deep below the surface, too far to reach, the only rescue team they have is the diving team themselves. The scientist and the biologist then look through the microscope, finding a parasite from the mole and the salamander's sample skins. Meanwhile, Jack and the survival expert search for an exit from the cave, where they move further away from the base and discover a rusted and torn flashlight in the water, indicating that someone made it that far. 
Then, they crawl into a tight space, and Jack enters a small opening, seeing numerous scorpions. Suddenly, the same unknown creature grabs Jack, and attacks him airborne. But Jack fights back, cutting off the hook of the creature, and he plummets to the ground. The survival expert immediately brings Jack onto the base to inject antibiotics into him, and clean his wound on the back. Jack brings along the hook he cut off, which the biologist examines afterward. However, it's impossible to name the creature without DNA testing, despite reviewing it. The biologist explains that every cave organism discovered so far, originated on the surface and had adapted over time, causing the organism to lose pigmentation and sight, and develop a heightened sense of hearing and smell, this means the cave is a self-contained ecosystem. Eventually, they leave the base, but the scientist recommends staying first, yet the first scout comments that staying behind, waiting for the lights out, is a bad idea. There is no choice left, the diving team, the scientist, and the biologist go deep into the cave, finding a human bone with teeth marks. Then they encounter a fork in the road, where Jack scouts the route. The first scout asks why Jack is the only one scouting, but the survival expert reminds it's their drill. Jack returns to ask what's happening, and the first scout comments that he only wants to get out. Either way, Jack leads the group to the left route, while the first scout scans the other path. Due to fear of being attacked, the first scout doesn't follow the scanned map he found. Afterward, the team climbs the wall, led by the rock climber. Jack grunts while scaling due to his bleeding hand, and the survival expert worries that Jack's wound is infected. The team, climbing below, is starting to get tired. Jack says they'll rest once they hit the water, but the survival expert says there's none. However, Jack replies that he can smell the water, the team eventually arrives near the water and rests. The cameraman tries to film the whole break, but Jack pushes him off, throwing the camera onto the water. Jack apologizes afterward, and notices the camera moving, showing a current. Jack then sits separately from the rest of the team, and he starts shaking his head and blinking rapidly. He develops a heightened sense of hearing, and listens to his team's comments, which are worried about him. Tyler then approaches Jack to check on him, and Jack shares that he can't save the team if they don't trust him. The team returns to the water, where the washed-up camera went, and a strong current pushes them upward. The diving team resurfaces, and sees rapids entering the unknown as the only exit. The survival expert goes into the rapids first, followed by the first scout and others one by one. Tyler and the biologist are ready to go, but the biologist gets stuck, as if something is grabbing her. Tyler fails to save the biologist as the current is too strong. He flows along the rapids, where he sees the scientist wounded, lying on a rock, Tyler then reaches the edge, plummeting along with the waterfall. The biologist then follows, screaming as she falls. The biologist and Tyler swim to the center until the rock climber resurfaces, announcing that something is underwater. Tyler checks the water, and finds a creature resembling an eel. Later, Jack radios Tyler, looking for the scientist and the rock climber. Tyler replies he's with the rock climber and the biologist, while the wounded scientist is on top of the falls. The survival expert lights a flare, and the cameraman finds them and joins the two. Tyler catches the flare's bright light with the two women, seeing Jack yards away from them. The two teams reunite in the middle, and they hear the scientist screaming as he falls onto the water. Jack swims towards the scientist, but the scientist re-encounters the unknown creature, where he gets dragged underwater. The biologist tries to help, but the survival expert stops her, saying they need to stick together. Jack follows the blood trail on the water's surface, and finds the creatures pulling the scientist away. Jack finds the scientist stuck in a crevice, where he watches as the scientist gets killed and dragged away further. Jack returns to the team, and announces that the scientist is dead. The biologist cries, saying it's Jack's responsibility for the scientist's death, because he chose to go deeper. Nevertheless, the group leaves the water, and walks to dry land, seeing a flowing river and a stone wall. Jack tells Tyler that they will go up first after scouting the grounds. The team opposes this, saying there's a water current in front of them, but Jack wants to scale the wall, explaining that the team doesn't know what's going on, because the water in front of them is a trap. The rock climber offers herself to go up first, but Jack denies it. While preparing to ascend, the biologist comments to Tyler that Jack is ill, making him unfit to lead anymore, but Tyler defends his brother. Suddenly, Jack finds the rock climber scaling the wall so fast, she inserts pitons into the cracks to secure the ropes, and reaches the top edge. Unfortunately, a creature advances to the rock climber, who immediately backs up and drops to the edge, almost killing her. She recovers eventually, while the team below watches her almost die. She runs on the wall to transfer to a different wall, but the creature finally comes to light, revealing it's a human-sized winged creature, it then flies towards her. The rock climber manages to retaliate against the creature, and ignites it into the fire, but she gets too many wounds, leading to her death. The survival expert brings down the body of the rock climber, where they cover her corpse. 
Then, they see Jack, whose eyes have become inhumanly slanted pupils. The biologist finally understands and surmises that the parasite entered Jack through his cut on the hand during the encounter with the creature. The parasite traveled to his bloodstream and affected his nervous system. So then, the parasite mutates the host to survive the environment they're currently in, which is why Jack inherits the heightened senses, like what happened to the previous cavers, who transformed into human-winged creatures and attacked their dead friends. Due to this, the first scout starts questioning Jack's judgment and decides to split up. Tyler and the survival experts stick with Jack to scale the wall, while the biologist and the cameraman remain with the first scout to venture through the water current. Later, Jack and two others arrive in a cavern filled with human skeletons, realizing it's the ancient battleground shown in the Abbey's mosaic. Therefore, the local legends prove to be true that the Abbey's residents built the mosaic to protect the people from the creatures. Then they see daylight through the middle, implying it's their exit from the cave. Tyler decides to retrieve the others, but he finds them gone upon arriving. He sees their bloody rebreathers left behind on the ground. Tyler hears the first scout screaming for help, so he follows the sound and finds the first scout in a crevice. He's about to save him, but the creature drags away the first scout further. Tyler squeezes himself into the crack to follow, but upon arriving, the first scout is impaled onto the stalactite, dying. Meanwhile, biologist activates the mapping gun to temporarily daze the creature and travels back to where Jack and the survival expert are waiting. Upon returning, they stumble upon the cameraman, followed by more creatures, and resume their way to the cavern. Tyler and two others reunite with Jack and the survival expert. They disassemble the rebreather and distribute the left oxygen tanks, but sadly, a creature stole one of the rebreathers containing two oxygen tanks, so Jack decides to retrieve it himself. The rest of the team submerges in the middle of the water, hiding from the creatures surrounding them. The cameraman chooses to defend them with a mapping gun, but gets killed while running towards the water. Tyler tries to save him, but it's too late. Just then, Jack eventually retrieves the rebreather and distributes the two tanks to Tyler, who has arrived on the water. Jack decides to sacrifice himself, putting a flare inside the rebreather's canister for an explosion. Tyler tries to stop his brother, but the whole cavern collapses, so he and the other two immediately submerge themselves in the underwater passageway. After swimming for hours, they resurface outside the river beside the Carpathian mountainside. The movie ends with the surviving three returning back to the city. The survival expert enters a cab bidding goodbye to Tyler. Tyler then returns with the biologist to a cafe and sits beside her. He asks if Jack could have survived in the open. The biologist answers that she first thought the parasite could only stay in the underground, but now it's uncertain because it wants to be out in the open too. Before the biologist leaves Tyler alone, she kisses Tyler's cheek goodbye, revealing her mutated pupils behind an eyeglass like Jack's. Tyler realizes the parasite had infected the biologist, so he follows her in a hurry, but loses her in the bustling crowd. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.